This is why Jews and Muslims reject Isaiah 53 as talking about Jesus. Oh, <laughs> this should be interesting. For Isaiah 53 verse 3 reads, He was despised and rejected by mankind. But we know that Jesus wasn't because in Luke 4 verse 15, it says he was teaching in the synagogues and everyone praised him. And another example is Mark 3 verse 7. Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the lake and a large crowd from Galilee followed. So obviously, Jesus wasn't rejected by all of mankind. And we know Jesus is the most followed person and popular person to ever exist. First of all, Isaiah 53 doesn't say that Jesus was rejected by all of mankind. It says that he was rejected by men, not mankind. So yes, of course, he was accepted by some and rejected by most others. For example, you literally have this situation where he could have been freed, but they decided to choose a convicted murderer instead of letting Jesus go free, the innocent one. So if that's not being rejected, I don't know what is. Isaiah 53 verse 9 reads, He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. But we know that's not the case, because in John 2.15, Jesus made whips out of cords and drove people out of the temple courts. Hmm. Jesus making whips out of cords and driving people out of the temple house who were gambling in the house of God. Wow. What violence, Jesus. Having righteous indignation is not what Bible, what the Bible says violence is. He, he didn't commit murder. He didn't rape anyone. He didn't sleep with a little girl. He didn't do any of these things. But... We know who did. Isaiah 53 verse 10 reads, He will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the Jewish, a Hebrew word for offspring is zira, which literally means posterity. And posterity in the English language means the descendants of a person. And we know Jesus had absolutely no children or descendants. Now this is this is a this is jokes. This has to be jokes. So if if Zira literally means physical offspring, and let's see, let's see. According to this guy's logic, chapter fifty-seven, verse four of Isaiah, same book, just a few chapters over. It says that deceit has Zira seed, offspring. It says that deceit and falsehood has seed. So, Mister TikToker, does that mean that? Deceit has literal physical children? Is deceit a person? A human being who bears children? Mr. TikToker? <laughs> My best friend would love to say that this is a criminal reading of the text. Oh, you are reading goodness. into the text wow. a criminal reading. You said a if criminal you, reading. Criminal reading, yeah, that's, that's a crime when you read your own <laughs> thoughts that much into the Bible. And this is why I believe Isaiah 53 is not talking about Jesus. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Muslim TikToker, for proving to us why we cannot listen to Muslims when they try to dissect the Bible. You guys are dishonest and you never do any type of real exegesis. But you like to come with a Muslim lens. You cannot accept this is about Jesus because it clearly talks about the death and resurrection of the Messiah for the forgiveness of sins.